I thought you said it was a potato. But I'm gonna benchmark a Vega. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. We're not gonna benchmark potatoes today, but we're gonna be benchmarking the AMD Vega 56. This graphics card was actually from PowerColor, but you can get one from Sapphire for about 499 bucks on Amazon. So we also have bills on these graphics cards on Buried1.com and they are actually really good because you will see at the end of the video how good these benchmarks actually are. This graphics card has a really old Radeon look, but it does have a rear exhaust and this makes it really good for mining, not heating up the cards next to it. It also has indicator LEDs on how much power it's actually using at the very moment. It also has two 8-pin connectors to draw all those powers. Let's torture this card and see what it does. Okay, so let's divide this into two different categories because you can go really efficient with this card, but you can also go for the maximum results. So let's get started. Okay, so let's get started with the efficient results first. So I set the card to 1150 MHz and the memory to 945. And if you increase it by five extra, it's gonna crash out and look really pretty. But we set the power limit to minus 20 as well. And we used about 130 watts on the card with 29.3 mega ashes per second. This is actually okay, but not really that good because RX 570s and RX 580s are more efficient than this. And with that amount of power, you can power about two RX 470s or 480s. Okay, so next up we benchmarked Zcash with a core clock of 1590 MHz and we cranked the memory settings all the way up to 945 MHz as well and we set a power limit to minus 20 but we came to a really sad 397 solutions per second at 145 watts. Next up was Monero Mining. We used the same core memory and power limit as on Zcash and we reached a whopping 1000 700 hashes per second at about 120 watts that's amazing okay so next up was the maximum result of all these cryptocurrency algorithms and we set our memory core to the stock 5090 megahertz and our memory to maxed out but this time we changed our power limit to zero and this means that we're just yeah actually using the stock settings but we're increasing the memory only. So we came to a really nice 36 and even 38 mega ashes per second with about 210 watts of power from the card. But I'm gonna give you one thing of why I just said 36 and 38. When the HBM2 memory gets warm, the hash rate will degrade of every single coin. So this card has a really large disadvantage that it needs to keep its HPM2 memory cold. You will need to set your fan to 100% to keep going on your highest hash rate at your specific wattage. So as soon as it gets warm, you will lose about 10 to 20% of your hash rate and that is really disappointing. So make sure that you have some earmuffs on your head because these cards can get pretty loud. So Zcash only came to 405 solutions per second using 155 watts. And last but not least, our really nice Vega reached 1945 hashes per second at about 210 watts on Monero Mining. So this actually means that it was actually doing better with 1700 hashes per second than the compared 1945 hashes per second and also the sound of the fans was way harder when the card was running at 210 watts compared to 120 watts. Last but not least we're gonna benchmark this graphics card for gaming performance. Unfortunately, I had to do a kind of different kind of benchmark because this graphics card has HPCC enabled or disabled. When you enable it, your performance is going to be better because then it's able to load some sort of more textures than before. So we did have a different result with turning it on or off. 
But of course the blockchain drivers will always degrade the performance of gaming. Okay, so also these are the LED indicators on how much power it was actually using. During the benchmark you can see that it was almost using the full capacity using all LED lights. Okay, so we scored a 5544 in Time Spy, but of course, this is well below the 4K gaming PC mark. We needed to reach about 6700 to reach 4K gaming, but of course, this could be the cause of the blockchain drivers. So, hopefully, you all enjoyed this video today, and see you guys in the next one.